you the love of my life. I wanted you to know just how ridiculously in love with you I am, so that hopefully you never forget, though I plan to still remind you of it often. Your love and dedication to family is one of the most admirable traits. Anyone who knows you can see how much work and effort you put in to make sure all of your family is taken care of, including me. It amazes me that everything you do has so much thought and care put into it. When I got furloughed, I texted you and told you there's no need to come visit because I did not have a good day and that I was not going to be much fun to be around. You responded that you were coming anyway because I would need someone to cheer me up. And you arrived shortly after with cookies, flowers, and Chinese takeout. Little did I know at the time that this was the type of sweet, caring, and thoughtful gestures that I would get to see and experience over and over again. One specific phone call I remember clearly is the day that Megan and Blake had their first date. Megan called to tell me how excited it went. She would tell me how much of a gentleman he was and followed up with, but I'm not getting my hopes up on this one. <laughs> Then she'd go again and tell me how long they had conversation and followed up, but I'm not getting my hopes up on this one. <laughs> this went on for about half an hour. When I got off the phone, I looked at my husband and I said, I think you found the one for you because I've never heard you so excited about a date. Every time I see Blake and Me Megan together, it's like seeing two puzzle pieces that finally found their perfect fit. I'm so glad that Blake is joining our family, and I know that he'll treat you the way you deserve to be treated, even if you don't always let him. <laughs> no matter how long you're together, don't stop spoiling each other with the little things you do now, even the most mundane things, even when it doesn't seem important, because that's what'll keep you close. Megan. So start, you look amazing. I want to welcome you to the family. I have gotten to know you, but more importantly, just seeing how you two work together. I'm happy that my bake found someone like you. And we might yell at each other a lot, but deep down we would do anything for one another. I look forward to watching you two grow together. I made a promise to my mom to look after my brothers and my father the way that my mom did. And from the beginning, I knew Blake was in great hands. <laughs> Look very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, Sandy! Stop it! <laughs> very pretty dress. Thank you. Can I kiss you or no? Yeah. <laughs> Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I'll be buried. It's quite fitting for a husband and wife. It's the essence, actually, of the marital vows. In getting married, the bride and groom pledge to each other that neither will leave the other. They will remain faithful to each other until death they shall part. I, Blake, take you, Megan, take you, Megan, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for better, for worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poor, for poor, in sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death do us part, according to God's, according to God's holy will, holy will, and I pledge to you. And my, I pledge to you my faithfulness. My faithfulness. I'm Megan. Take you, Blake. Take you, Blake. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. And I pledge to you. And I pledge to you. My faithfulness. My faithfulness. Now that Blake and Megan have committed themselves to each other in holy matrimony, have given themselves to each other by their solemn pledges, and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I promise them, I pronounce them, I'm not going to promise. I pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. It is my distinct privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Blake Pierce. I'm so incredibly happy to become your wife today, to start our future together. I prayed to God for you, and he delivered everything I dreamed of, and so much more. I can't wait to continue to live life with you making memories and carrying out our goals and plans for the future. I hope that I can make you half as happy as you make me. It's like the whole sky opened up, gave me a real good reason to enjoy it Because I got a real good feeling, yeah, things are looking up Ooh, I got a real good feeling that things are looking up Ooh, I got a real good feeling that things are looking up I wish you good morning from the side I got a real good feeling that things are looking up. I got a real good feeling that things are looking up. A real good, real good, real good feeling. Oh my, oh my luck. I got a real good feeling. I can finally trust. It's like the whole sky opened up. Gave me a real good reason to enjoy it. Because, oh my. 